Welcome fam, we are back to F1 23, Kona Sport and boy let me say this episode is going to be mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing. So we are playing with Butler, the narcissistic guy on F1. It's actually very fun to see all the YouTubers in real life here in the game very fun it's a nice touch although i don't pay much attention to that just a few details here and there right here we are going to receive the first email from casper i believe it's the first one yeah, encouraging the team and yeah let's go Here comes Butler, good pace here down the straight. Into the corner we go, that's a little too late. And he nearly goes off the track on the exit. And is that a lapse in concentration? I think just a little bit of desperate driving there, Crofty. He's pushing way too hard. I mean, there's nobody else around him at this stage. Okay, Devon, we're gonna have to ease off from the brakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brakes don't feel right. Okay, we'll have a look at it, but you're gonna see a drop off in performance, I'm afraid. What? Why? We've asked you to take it easy on the last lap, but pushing has made the issue even worse. So we're just going to have to live with it for now. What are you talking about? Listen, just do what you can, please, Devon. Come on. Right, so we are going to begin here. I was expecting this to be a hard, difficult, whatever race. At least more difficult than the previous ones. I need to hold on the mask possible. I was trying to see if there is any kind of issue with the brakes. There isn't. Now let's gonna take scroll. Yeah. Okan. Yeah, baby. Right, so in this race there is not much to overtake. I'm just going to overtake now Norris. And I think that's it. Yeah, as you can see, I'm 6 seconds behind Hamilton. Yeah, this is the last lap. I'm not going to overtake anyone, but we secure ourselves with a P6. But this isn't enough for the team, by the looks of it. You are all going, you'll, you are going to, to see. Overtake pack marker, no, we are in the last lap. Race over. Right, Take racing etiquette, finish position, bonus objective. The good the stuff, but listen now. Road, but the question is, what are Connor Sport going to do about it? Well, it's really hard. As we've seen so many times before, Crofty, in the past, so hard to control your drivers. In a way, they're their own entity, but on the top of it, they're, they're working for the team, and that's what you want. It's a very hard situation to manage. And working for the team, Kasper Ackerman wanted to make a clean break for this year. This does feel, though, that it's something that they might have had to have dealt with last season. It's really not what they wanted. A repeat of what happened in the past, and you cannot let it go on. It can't continue. They're just damaging the reputation of the team and their own reputation as well. They have to sort it out. I'm sure they'll be having words. So it's all changed here in yeah, Australia. It's, and it's the kind of a nonsense standings, talking so that way just because of that simple mistake the drivers route to the podium, I mean drivers speak. are making that all the time and we team. didn't disobey any today. direct he order I believe on the edge of our seats throughout the I think Butler the was uh, with difficult to hear to at the team. I don't know if it was because of a lack of concentration maybe we will going to figure it out soon by the way I saw on YouTube a video of a guy a regular guy from Australia Melbourne, he accompanied the construction team on the park building up this track, man it's awesome. Right, so a little bit of role play. About what happened today, everyone would inevitably draw comparisons with Hungary last season when you said there was a comms issue. Are those two incidents related? Look, anything I say is going to be taken out of context. So I'd rather not fuel that kind of speculation. I'll debrief the team and we'll figure out how we can stop it happening again. That's that's all there is to it. 
Devon, you finished the race with a compromised car today. Now, I don't like know you? what's the meaning of uh, finishing with yeah, a compromised car. Forward. I think no, the car it was um, okay. It wasn't going as fast as we all the team was talking but, about uh, brakes, well, but the brakes race. feel okay to me. Best out of a bad situation. That's just what you have to do sometimes. Now, some have been saying that you do get preferential Right, so this is the best answer that the this what Devon Butler could do. <laughs> strikes me as really odd like as if <laughs> the only reason that i'm first on the track is because my dad funds the team you know how, how is that an explanation it's ridiculous so how do you expect connor sport to perform this season based on your performance so far they got me haven't they <laughs> so uh, yeah a true a true butler huh well. if they can sort out the car this time around i'll get them all the points their little hearts desire that's great thank you you're welcome Right, Casper. Could you take a look at All right, the star is born. The producers of Throttle Zone have been in touch. They are now seeking permission to film inside Pan Sport Garage for the upcoming Throttle Zone scenes. Yep. <laughs> no brainer. Let's go. Right. He said what? Devon refused to comment, so we need to investigate. That's that's the best thing to do although he got that icon of level 4 of reputation i don't know if they that it's that have something some meaning and i don't know right andreo the man you nip this in the bud Cass. do you hear me andreo butler what was that out there today i will not have a return to last season we are a team he cannot be allowed to do just what he wants They've just calmed down. I have it under control. Well, this is Devon we're talking about. There is no control. He nearly lost the car, Casper. But he didn't. You know what it gets like out there. I'm sure there's an explanation. Or an excuse. And we'll find out. I'll be racing it at the debrief, okay? So I'll report back to you. Uh, okay, um... Yeah, hang on. Look, I've got to go. I've got David off on the other line. <laughs> of course you have. Enjoy. <laughs> Uh, you're right, you need to to be crazy to enjoy talking to David off. Right, Devon's car, so by the looks of it, there is everything okay with the car. As we suspect, we already know there is some kind of issue with Butler. We kind of don't know what. But there is some problem. Right, so Ackerman, drama... Next chapter now, it's going to be... Oh, it's a... Well, it's a big deal when one of your drivers decides to do their own thing. So I called him out on it at the next team meeting. And what was Devon's reaction? Well, he denied the whole thing. You know, blamed it on a comms fail. Which... I thought was strange. The same thing happened the year before when I was principal. And he gave the exact same excuse. Yeah? You wanted to see me? Ah, there he is. You're a difficult man to pin down. Right, I'll cut uh, right to the chase, Devon. Tell me what's happening. What are you talking about? Well, it's not just disregarding team orders. Paddock talks. People are saying you've been distracted, that you're ignoring them completely. <laughs> now, my job is to make sure the team works smoothly, like clockwork, so I'm just trying to work out what's going on. I told you, check the comms. Yeah, the comms are fine, Devon. We checked. What's going on? Nothing. Just cut that out. Show me some respect now. I heard the order. All right? You happy? Why ignore it? I'm feeling it, Cass. The pressure, paddock gossip these last couple of months. Oh, come on. You're Devon Butler. You are the paddock gossip. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard what they're saying, right? You've seen what they're writing. Driving on daddy's money. It's, uh, it's making me second guess myself. Okay. We can work through that. 
start changing the the team narrative? Absolutely. But in the meantime, I'd like you to see someone from the medical team. Just to be sure. I've booked you in for this afternoon. No, no, Cass, Cass. Look, I I've got a race to prep for, okay? I need my head in the game. I'm fine. I get that. That's fine. But I want you to see them straight after the race. Understood? Yeah. Fine. And suddenly, Butler, it's becoming a little bit more likable. A little bit more human. Right, so we are in Emilia Romana. I suck on this race, this GP. Fine, just leave me to it, yeah? We are about to begin, lights out, and away we go. We've been overtaken by Piastri. Uh, let's gonna gain some position, shall we? Right, Sergeant. Let's go, my boy. I need to pass. Let's go. Brilliant, nice move. Keep going. Right to the edge. Right, Nico Unkenberg. <laughs> now it's your time. By the way, right here in Himala, you are about to see the improvements that they made to the AI. Right. Time to overtake both us, but look at this, the behavior of the AI. It's more natural. It was not like the game from the last season. As you can see, it's, that, it's not that nonsense that happened in the previous game. Now, Bottas, are you going to give me the position or what? Let's go, my boy. He's done. Look at this. This behavior, it's actually so smooth. So good. And another easy overtake. Yeah, I'm going to everything from the car we are going to try to overtake the Astri. are we going to be able to looks like not <laughs> fight for the next one I'm not going to bother with a few but cutscene Oh, vision is blurry. He's having a breakdown. Devin Butler now. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. Oh, Devin I remember Butler's seeing this. He's out. Oh, he just misjudges it and clips the curb. What a mess. Devin Butler, with that move, is out of the race. He won't want to see that. I remember too many seeing times. this. We want to see him out of the car on the trailers That's good news. big relief there Although before the release of the game feet, well thumbs up to the crowd but i'd imagine after that he'll be quite shaken yeah and tp is doing his job bro so this story hey. this story it's very worth it I like a lot this story. It was very unexpected to have this in the F1 game. Can you imagine this? Devon saying it's done. It's okay. It's okay. It was his hearing. He'd been keeping it from us. I think maybe he'd been trying to keep it from himself. 
mean, he was at the height of his career. Yeah, what can you say? How did you feel? I, I was devastated. <sighs> but, uh, five years in F1. Can't argue with that. I mean, most people never even get the chance, so. And I was still one of the best while I was out there. You ask anyone. Once again, emotional damage How to did Devon. You feel when Devon left? How did I feel? I say once again because I remember the F121. I remember the clips. But if we are going to hit our targets, we need another driver, a permanent one, and fast. But we are mid-season. It's impossible. So, given the circumstances, do you think you can grant us a bit of leeway on the contract? I have the projections. If Connorsport doesn't reach fifth place in the constructors this season, the returns simply aren't worth my time. That was always the deal. And it still is. But with a little extra time, perhaps we stop. The deal stands. And without Devon driving, there's now little of interest for me beyond the contract. It's just business. There must be something we can do. So, legacy is obviously important to you, David. As a father, I, I totally get that. So if Devon, your son, can't drive, how about your daughter? Why don't we give the seat to Kelly? No. California will not be signed to Connorsport. Why not? Just... Just think of the commercial opportunities for the team that signs her, hmm? Forget legacy. Oh, we'd be... You'd be making history. And you'll be giving a phenomenal talent her first break into F1. It's the right thing to do. Come on, you know she deserves it. The daughter. Who took her mother's name to spite me. Nah, she'll never say yes. Why don't you leave that to me? Contract still stands, Ackerman. Fifth place, or I'm out next season. One problem at a time. Eh? <laughs> yes, yeah, so this was when my mind just blow. Blow, completely blow my mind. <laughs> what a huge revelation. Hey, we need your input. Okay, Star is born. The engineering department are annoyed. <laughs> I mean, this is just whatever, man. I am so... This is... This is uh, unspeakable. This is completely unspeakable. Andreo, have you spoken to her yet? Y yes, we've spoken. And what did you say? She'll be around this weekend. She agreed to come and see me. You mean you haven't asked her yet? Of course not. It's a delicate situation. Uh, I'm sure she has an idea, but... Uh, look, it's not just something you casually ask over the phone, is it? Why not? Come on. This is potentially life-changing for her. And the whole family situation needs to be handled with a little, you know, care and respect. Well, well you're the one that knows her. Just make sure she says yes and fast. I'm finding it difficult to keep fielding questions about the future of Connorsport. Yeah, I read part of that interview. Could almost feel you squirm. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, I'll call you as soon as I know. <laughs> right. So there is no words right now. I wasn't expecting this. And yeah, this is the end of the episode. I cannot wait to play with Kelly in F1. So, goodbye. <laughs>